and fifth? I'm going to third. Oh, you going to third. Okay, all right, I'll praise you. How old are you, man? Seven. You seven? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna deal with you guys, right? You guys out here diligently, right? Your parents brought you over here so you guys can learn some things about the Bible. All right, so for a second, I want y'all to come out the street and come over here, and I want y'all to look at this sign real quick, all right? We're gonna show you color in the Bible, right? We're gonna show you your beautiful black skin in the Bible, all right? Because in America, right, we're taught that, you know, black is ugly, right? That our hair is ugly, our hair is nappy, but I want to show you that God looks just like you and I, all right? Christ is not a black man, and God himself is not a black man. I mean, excuse me, Christ is not a white man, and God himself is not a white man, all right? I'm going to pour into you, right? Uh, give me Revelation chapter 1 and verse, start at verse 1. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1, the revelations of Jesus Christ. So the Bible says the revelation of Jesus Christ, right? So the revealing of Jesus Christ, right? The, the root road in Revelation is to reveal, right? So if I'm going to reveal something to you, I'm going to show you something, correct? All right, come on. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. All right, so jump to verse 14. So we're going to talk about Christ, right? Everybody love Christ? Everybody love God? Right? Raise your hand. Right? Okay, all praise. I love God too. Right? I'm going to show you what God looks like so you can have a sense of uh, dignity when you guys walk in your neighborhoods. All right? Your hair is not ugly and your skin is not ugly. All right? You're beautiful. But you got to understand that according to God. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible records Jesus Christ, the greatest man that ever walked the face of the earth. He said that his head and his hairs were white like wool. Right. So, Wool is a texture, right? So what people today have a woolly textured hair or nappy textured hair or kinky textured hair? We do. Us. Right. Us. Who's the us? The so-called black man, right? The so-called black woman, right? But we are called the Israelites according to God. That's, right. that's, our, that's, our, that's our nationality. We're not black. We're not African-American. That's what we're called in slavery because our ancestors, right, they broke the commandments of God. And we continue to break them today, right? So Christ looks just like you, and he has hair just like you. All right, read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible says his head and his hairs were white like wool. So if you look at this depiction right here, this is a depiction, right, or a drawing of Jesus Christ, right? And it says his head and his hairs were white like wool, right? So he had a, he had a beard as well. Right, so for my young, uh, my young men, when you guys grow up and you guys start to get facial hair, like you see many of these men, right, don't cut it off because Christ had a beard on his face and Christ was a mighty man. All right, read on. And it's as white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, uh -huh. and his feet like a fine brass. So the Bible says Christ's feet was like fine brass. Do you know what color brass is, anybody? It's brown, right? The color of brass is brown. So the Bible says, my sister right here, the Bible says that Jesus Christ's feet was the color of what? Brass, brass. So Christ was a brown-skinned man, but that's not it. Read on. As if they burn in a furnace. So the Bible says that Christ's feet was as if they burned in a furnace. Meaning what? If you put anything in a fire, it's going to get what? Burned. It's going to get burned. Y'all ever burn something on the stove? Yeah. Right? Because y'all forgot it. Y'all went outside to play and y'all forgot it. Right? And then look, and you probably brought all the types of smoke in the house. You probably got it beaten. Right? But you looked at that thing that, dang, I really burnt that hot dog. Or I really burnt that piece of bread. You left it in the toast too long. Christ looked just like you. He looked dark skin. Bring it out. So guess what? This is black excellence in the Bible. Right, you, should be a proud, you should be proud of yourself. Right. right? This is the color of brass. Burn brass. So everybody can understand that the color of your skin is beautiful. All right? Everybody understand that? So what color is Christ? Black. Christ is a black man. All right? right? Christ was a black man. I'm going to show you what tribe he came from. So nobody can lie to you anymore. Give me Hebrews. Right? Christ came from the tribe of Judah. All right, if you look down here, it's a little small, but if y'all can look down here, right, there's 12 tribes. And within those tribes, you have names that were given to each of those, uh, those tribes. So the tribe of Judah will be known as the African Americans or the American blacks. All right, so most of you, are, are you guys, um, are your father is a so-called African American? 
Right? So you guys will be from the same tribe that Christ came from. Right. That's a beautiful thing, right. right? So that can put a smile on your face. When you go in your schools, right? When you walk in your neighborhood, you say, no, I'm, I'm, I am a child of God, literally, right? I'm a princess, and we're going to deal with the attire and how you should behave as a princess as well, all right? Read on. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So the Bible says it is evident. What's your name again, my sister? Zoe, Zoe. That reminds me of like a, uh, um, a show I used to watch, like on Disney Channel. But uh, Zoe, what, what does the word evident mean? Like if, if something's evident, what's, the, what's another word for evident? Like you evidently look like a black woman, right? What's another word to say that? No, not that. It is obvious, right? Or it's factual. Right? So the Bible says it's obvious and it's factual, meaning we can prove it out of the Bible. Read. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. For it is evident. For that it is obvious, right? Or it's factual. It is evident. Read. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. So guess what? Christ came from the tribe of Judah. So Christ would have been a so-called African-American today. Right. Christ is not a white man. See, look right. down here. This is important. This is what they tell us Christ looked like, right? When you guys watch uh, biblical movies, they always show Christ as being a white man, right. right? But why? When Christ looks like a black man. Why? Because that's important. Imagery is important. How you carry yourself is important. Give me uh, Sirach. Um, a man may be known by his attire. Yes, sir. Right? You know what I want? Yes, sir. All right. So now we're going to get into how you should behave and how you should look within your schools and within your neighborhoods and in the house, right? Because you guys are a princess, right? You guys are kings. You guys are young men, right? right? But most importantly, it is a, a, a behavior that, that is associated with a princess, all right? There's a, be a certain behavior. These are younger men, so I'm kind of, I'm dealing with you guys. You guys are a little older, right? But there's a, there's a behavior associated with being a princess, right? right? When y'all when was maybe a, a little uh, younger, did you guys used to have dolls? Right, you brush the hair, right? Uh, princess so and so, or maybe a Barbie doll, right? So there's there's a certain attire that comes with being a princess, and we're going to show you out of the Bible. Read. So what? Chapter 19 and verse 29. A man may be known by his look, and one to have understanding by his countenance, when thou meetest him. So the Bible says a man, right? The Bible's in this in this verse is speaking in a masculine tone, right? But it's also going into the woman. So it says a man or a woman may be known by their looks, right? So let's get into the looks of our princesses, right? Because that's going to carry into your adulthood, right? Am I correct? So you guys want to behave like princesses and you guys want to look like princesses. Give me uh, first, uh, what you got? First Timothy, first Timothy 2 and 9. All right, so we're going to show you the attire of a princess, right? The attire of a princess, that's important. Do, do, do you guys want to be anything outside of a princess? Do you guys want to be a gangster? Do you guys want to be a, uh, uh, um, you guys want to be up and down the streets, not having any hope, not having a job? No, you want to be beautiful prince. You guys want to be a wife one day? A wife. You don't want to be a girlfriend. You want to be a wife. That's an honorable title. Read. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. And like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So the Bible is talking about the woman. Right? Are you guys a woman? Right? All of you guys, all of you, all of you guys are men, are uh, women. You guys right here, young men. So the Bible is saying that the woman must adorn themselves in modest apparel. All right? So I'm going to help you out. The word adorn, guess what the word adorn means? Every, every woman loves this word. Every woman loves doing this. It means to beautify. Right. To look beautiful, to look good. Right? You put your makeup on, you put your lipstick on, you do your hair. Right? When you come back from the hair salon, you, you like a whole other person, right. right? The Bible says you must uh, beautify or make yourself beautiful in modest apparel. Right. All right, read that again. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So the Bible says you must adorn yourselves in modest apparel. All right, quiz time. All right, my sister, what does the word adorn means? Come on, you can use the mic. Don't be shy. Okay, help her out. Help your sister out. What does the word adorn mean? It means to beautify, to make yourself look good, right? 
Okay, so the Bible says you must beautify yourself in modest apparel. So now, let's get some of the attire of a woman, right? How do you beautify yourself? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22, come on. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So guess what? The Bible says a woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The word pertain means to belong to. So the Bible says a woman or a girl, right, or a princess shall not. If I say you shall not do this, that means you, you shouldn't do it, right? That's a commandment, right? So the Bible says a woman or a princess should not wear that which belongs to a man. Right. So we're going to show our people, our princesses, right, what belongs to these men right here. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.